if, if well, hopefully none of us are going to find ourselves in jail, but if you are, if you do find yourself there, make friends with the folks that are around you, support the folks that are around you, have conversations, uh, make the best of the moment, but don't talk about anything with anyone, about anything that happened before the time the cup hits your hand. Definitely recommend that everyone have a more extensive Know Your Rights training so that you can have that information so you can share it with the folks around you. We're actually going to have a training on Monday at 7 o'clock for folks that want to be able to, to, to so it's a more extensive of the trainer's training, so if you want to be able to be um, a resource for your community, for other activists to help with a lot of the stuff that's going to go out in the sanctuary, um, we definitely recommend coming to that training. We're still working on the location, but it'll go out through the, the social media sites and all, the, and all those places. Everyone else who hasn't been assigned something, you guys are going to be dead people. We're going to reenact uh, a scene. You're going to see officers step out and tell people to put their hands up. When you see people put their hands up, you're going to put your hands up. You're going to hear people reenact gunshots and people are going to fall onto the ground. When they fall onto the ground, you guys fall onto the ground as well, even though a cop might not be in front of your face. After that, you're gonna stay in place. Chalkers are gonna come around and outline you. Someone will step onto a bullhorn and say a few words. We'll have a moment of silence. The police will come. We're gonna let them get out of their cars, um, get suited and booted to come and do something. They're gonna walk all the way up to us. And then from that moment, you'll hear someone else get on the bullhorn and make a call for us to get up, which then we will get up, get on the sidewalks, to start back to the station where you came from. Everybody here will be coming back to Del Mar Station. We'll debrief on how the action went, and then you guys can get to your warm spots and call this a day.
your bad, we ain't scared of your guns, we ain't scared of your jail. We ain't scared of your bad, we ain't scared of your guns, we ain't scared of your jail. The police believe the video evidence of Mike Brown supposedly started out of it. And ever since then, uh, the narrative has been changed on what, what's actually been going on in the streets. There's been peaceful demonstrations like what you're witnessing right now, yet most of the mainstream media and some of our independent media, they keep portraying us to be monsters, they villainize us every chance they get, and it, and it justifies in the eyes of the people who can't see what's going on why the police come down on us the way that they do. But here, we brought our demonstrations to your complete neighborhood, to where you shop at, to where you work at, to where you live at, just so you can see what's really going on. This is the this is the real thing that we're dealing with. Dead body. Not not certain. Not even the crazy people who love to come in and survive that. If you don't really have a platform to be vocal, so the only way they know to be vocal is to take the streets. I like that. I haven't seen that in the loop yet. And the way that the police crack down is what it is. They give us more of these. Yeah. We, we see more of these laying around. So that's what this demonstration is about. It's about bringing our issues to your, to your forefront, making it unavoidable for you. You can't, you can't say that you don't understand, or that you don't get what's going on, because we'll bring it to you. We'll, we'll make you understand. We'll help you out with that. And that's what this demonstration is. We ain't scared of your bad, we ain't scared of your guns, we ain't scared of your jail. 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 We ain
a lot of faces that are out here are not even from this city or this state. They're, they're showing solidarity. This is a, a, a much bigger issue than Ferguson, Missouri. We're all finding out. Um, this is a much bigger issue than uh, than Ferguson and Mike Brown's death uh, with this with this man on white supremacy. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a tough thing. This is a, a marathon. I want to put that in everybody's head. This is not a 40-yard dash. I know that Ferguson. It seems like the, the movement, the revolution has started, but in, in actuality, the revolution never stopped. You know what I'm saying? It has fast pace and it has slow pace moments. So uh, keep that in your brain that this, this is a fight that's gonna last a long time. Um, but we're willing to fight it, fight it, you know what I mean? We're standing out here in the snow. And uh, this is really encouraging, y'all. Uh, my boy Rocky got something to say. I just wanna start by saying, you guys, all of you guys better know I love the hell out of y'all. So who's cold as hell out of you? And I feel like that's most important. It's a whole bunch of people standing out in the cold right now doing something that we would be doing for pretty much anything else, I feel like. And so uh, I just want you guys to know most of you that I love the hell out of y'all, bro. And that, that'll never change. As long as you're standing with me, I'll be standing with you. I'm willing to die with you if you're willing to die with me. All of that good shit, yo. I love you guys. Also, real quick, I appreciate you guys responding on short and such short notice, bro. Like for real, like y'all out here, like y'all the riders. Like I know, like y'all showed up for something this year, cause I barely want to show up. I appreciate you guys and uh, thank you, thank you. Be safe, be safe. Be safe. I, I want to give a shout out to all the women out here. Yeah. 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 We not, we not gonna wrap this up just hearing from the fellas, but we out here too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. It's called and we doing this too, so I'm gonna give a shout out to y'all. I wanna give a shout out to the leaders who was in the front right here. And I just wanna say this is this is what solidarity and democracy looks like right here. You can look around, you'll see white faces, black faces, Latino faces, women and men. This is what solidarity and democracy looks like. Exactly. Let's give it up for the people, y'all, for the people. Let's give it up 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 for the people. Let's